everyone, I'm Sam from Elsa Productions and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft, Modded Minecraft single player survival series. Yes, I am back here in Modded Minecraft and I am doing some stuff. Um, I haven't done anything really between episodes, still have got this bit to finish. We uh, did a lot of refined storage in the past two episodes um, and we've got a system that's up and running now. Um, that's pretty cool, I'm quite proud of that, I think it's good. So yeah, um, today I'm going to switch gears and I would like to make, using all this stuff I've got set up here, an animal farm. So a farm that breeds animals and unfortunately kills them in order to get their drops. So, first things first, let's decide where we want this to go. We need to find a nice space. Oh, there's a bit of lag. Oh dear. What? Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> we need to find a nice space where we want to put our mob farm, our animal farm. Now we don't want it, probably don't want it too close to where we're going to be doing stuff because we're constantly hear all their noises, which is kind of a bit annoying. Um, but here would be cool, I reckon. So let's make this a bit more square. Let's just do this. Let's just fill this over like this. That will be fine. I think chuck a torch down there just in case. Okay. I think this is good. Level this area out. Here's our Botania area, which we haven't done much else with, unfortunately. Um, so I need to basically just knock down all this grass. Luckily, I have a tool for, th for that, don't I? But for some reason, it's not in there. Is it over here? Yes. Should probably keep this stuff on me now because I've got a tall backpack with plenty of space. Okay, knock down all the plants, please. Nice. Boom. That looks good to me. Let's chuck these guys in here. Let's press Z. Oh. Oh yeah, we haven't got any range upgrades. That's fine. That's fine. We'll ignore that for now. Um, I do, however, need to probably get my shovel out. I don't have a shovel anymore. Okay, well, luckily I can break things at cobblestone speed, because I'm a monk. Okay. So. We want to make, I'm thinking, a nice, a 9x9. Nine nine. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, and then back across. Perfect. Uh, we do need a little spot somewhere for the gate right in the middle. Sounds good to me. Plonk. So this is where our animals are going to go. They're going to sit in there, they're going to breed, and they're going to have a fun time. Now, I will actually make a shovel, because... What I want to do is I want to, so there are many ways you could do this, you could, basically you want to breed the animals and then keep, make sure you keep a certain number of them, basically, and then you want to kill the babies once they've grown up. So what we're going to do is we're going to use um, industrial foregoing, okay, animal uh, feeder will make them um, breed, I do believe, pretty sure that's what this one does, um, yeah, it'll breed them. The mob crusher will grind them up, but we don't want to grind up all the ones that we're breeding. So we're going to use from Dot Utilities a mob filter, which allows babies, this one, to fall through the filter. That way, there we go. How many of them can we make? All of them. Nice. We need a few more than that, but that's all the eggs I have for the moment. So yeah, basically, the this will breed them. Then they'll fall through this into a little pit that we'll make underneath, and the mob crusher will crush them. But we'll put an adult filter on, so the mob crusher only grinds up adults. Because I don't think babies drop the stuff we want. Now, how many drops are there? Let's have a look. Let's look at cow. Uh, spawn cow. Uh, no. I guess we look at leather. Leather. Uh, where's the normal leather? There we go. And we should find somewhere it says mob drops. Uh, let's find cow. There's cow. Apparently cow drops just beef or leather. That's it. Apparently. Okay. 
What about pigs? So we know they drop pork. Do they drop anything else? No. Okay. What about sheep? I don't think this is actually correct, to be honest, because I know they all drop solidified experience also, as well, I think. Um, I thought I could look up all their mob drops through this. But maybe not. Okay, that's fine. So if we imagine it's wool, uh, mutton, pork, leather, beef, that's five. Okay, so if we, so we want, oh, this makes quite a lot anyway, actually. Well, that's okay then. I don't think we have enough wood. Oh, we do. Boom. That's loads. That'll be plenty. Something else I need to get cooking is item. I want item conduits. Um, so we're going to use pulsating iron. We need, which is just iron and an ender pearl. This gives me eight. So one ingot of that should be fine. Iron. We have loads of. And ender pearls, pearl, we have not many, actually. That should be okay, though. Right, where is it? Boom, here we go. Here's the dude. He's going, thank you. Um, what other things do I need? So that's basically then done. Oh, yeah, I want these two. I'll explain why later. So it means we're going to need two of these. One, two, perfect. And I want one of you. Thank you. I would like one of you. Well, there goes all my ender pearls then. Craziness. Draw controller. Uh, ooh. Actually, we do have quite a few of these. That should be good. That should be fine. Wouldn't mind a gold chest, which needs an iron chest. I don't think we have any iron chests. I wouldn't think so. Do we have... Oh, we need a copper chest. So an iron chest, a copper chest, which needs just a wooden chest. Oh, are we out of wood, though? Yes. Okay, let's go get some wood. I shouldn't be too... Oh, I wanted to make my shovel, actually. Let's do that whilst I'm here. And my item conduits I can make now as well. Let's make some of them. Boom. Let's go for two sets. You know what? I'm not going to use this for anything else. Oh, okay, never mind. Two sets it is then. Good. Uh, now the wrench dude that I want to get as well. Uh, is called the Yetta wrench. What do we need for this? Electrical steel. That's not that bad, right? Oh, uh, okay, I take it back. Don't worry, I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, I still forgot to make the shovel. Shovel. That's the wrong thing. Shovel. Hmm, choices, choices. Can we make... Uh, oh, interesting. What shovel should we make, people? Invar shovel? Bronze shovel? Let's just make an iron shovel, shall we? Enough faffing around. And let's go clear us some space. And also get a bit of wood as well. Okay. Just a little bit. Let's do this huge tree here. Vey mine. Thank you. Whoa. That's a lot of stuff. I'm now stuck inside the trees. There we go. Cool. So, let's make a little service entrance down this way. And one more. Um, yeah, one more. Because we have a bit of space. And then we want to dig out an area under here. I think I will do this off camera. I've suddenly realised I have the destruction gadget that I could have used this whole time. I've been dig digging it all out by hand and I just remembered. I made this ages ago. So I should probably use it. Um, I would like to fill in at least some of this hole. So we have a pathway. This is an off-camera job for sure. That at least gives us a bit of a pathway. There we go. So yeah, I can easily use this dude. Um, so we want to go... What was the anchor button? L? No. Oh no, I can't remember now. Category, gadgets, da, 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 da. anchor, H. Okie dokie. So if we shift click, um, it might be close actually. 
And one more in each direction. And how far back is it going? It needs to go one, two, three, four, five back. Okay. So uh, one more in each of these ways. And depth of five. Oh, I removed the anchor. Right, so it goes that way, that way, that way. Now, does it go up? Yeah, we don't want it to go up any. We just want it to go down two, actually. I think. Actually, let's just do down uh, one, up, zero. Okay, boom. Nice. That worked nicely. I'm going to pop a torch just there for now. So that's one of the corners, and this is the other corner over up here. Yep. Okay. I want to go down one more. So shift click up. What's that? Three, three, three. Depth of one down three. Whoop, whoop. Yes. Nice. Okay. We are going to want a torch over here as well, I do believe. If we just do this, this should be okay. Let's do that. All right. And then, now oh, this is the edge here. So we can do this, because we're not going to have anything go happening on the edge. It's just going to be here. I think I want a bit more space, like so. I might move the stairs over one, actually. Because there's a nice little area here. And yeah, I might just do this real quick. So, the mobs are going to fall down here. The mobs, the animals, they are animals. Um, we we're going to have a little doorway here. So that's central. Nice. And do we need to worry about mob spawning down here? Probably. If we do that, is that good enough? Appears to be. So, and let's go above ground. I think that's pretty decent. I'm going to fill in this hole off camera probably. And we now need to decide. We've got 12 of these guys, right? Let's move this guy off. In fact, let's just put it back in here. So where are they going to go? So we can go one, two... Uh, this is not going to be many, unfortunately. So that's nine already. Right? I'm pretty sure these are the right time. So I won't fall through this, no. So mob filter type baby. So I think babies will fall through it. We've got three more. Mm, let's just stick them on this side. I will make some more at some point. Next thing we need to do is actually go and grab some mobs. Um, that would be a good thing. We actually need the mobs if we're going to do this. Da -da 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 -da. Lassoes. I got two of each lasso because we're doing. We need two mobs to breed, right? So let's go find. Whoa! I thought that was going to happen. Let's go find some mobs then. I think there's some sheep over here somewhere. Okay, so sheep one, done. Oh look, we hugged it at the same time. Sheep two, done. Back to the farm. Okay, so let's test if these guys fall down here or not. Hopefully they won't. No, see? It's only the babies that fall down here. Which we could show if I had some wheat, uh, but I don't unfortunately. We need to go make some machines anyway. We need to make the breeder and the slaughtery dude. Sorry to have to call it the slaughtery dude. Um, so let's get that. We're going to want some wheat anyway. There we go. That's a nice amount. Uh, we're going to need some plastic. I don't know how much I have. So the mob animal feeder. Oh, we have enough for that. Enough plastic. We need a golden apple. Good. We need two golden carrots. We need some more golden nuggies. There we go. Two of these. One, two. And some iron gear. And also purple dye. Easy enough. I was expecting that to be very difficult. Oh wait, we also need... Okay, so what are we going to go for? This one? This one's a nice one. Uh, oh, only if you have wood. Oh, which I do. So that's lucky then. Forgot to chop down all those trees. So let's go with this one because it's just redstone, iron, and wood. Nice and easy. Boom. 
Animal feeder. Mob crusher, what do you need? An iron sword. I assume I don't have an iron sword. No. We're also going to need a bit more plastic. And more sticks. Okay, right. I'll make that off camera, I think. And... There we go. Oh, if I pick the right one. This one. Boom. Mob crusher. Now. Adult filter. Oh, I forgot to save any eggs. I need another bit of plastic. Okay, let's quickly get the plastic going. And then we're going to go on a hunt for some chickens. Or rather, I'm going to go on a hunt for some chickens. Because you guys probably don't want to see that. Because that might be a bit boring. Here we go. Plastic is on its way. Okay. So, let's, uh, oh, storage upgrades. We're going to want probably two of them. Do I have any upgrade dudes? No. Oh, yeah, definitely only two, because I've only got two drawers now anyway. More sticks. Okay, and I think we're basically ready to start this then. We are going to need to get power over there, but that's not much of an issue. Okay, so let's head over here. Now we're going to want this to be somewhere central. I reckon the machine should go on this side. So we're going to need the animal feeder. We're going to want to make sure that they don't escape somehow. So I'm going to do that. No escaping, Mr. Sheep. Now, if we look at the range, it's tiny. It's only going to feed them if they're there. So we want one, two, three more blocks, which means we want a range upgrade of three. So tier plus three, which is easy enough to make. So let's go and make that then. We're going to want two of them, actually, because the killy bit underneath is basically going to be the exact same anyway. Exact same size. So where is it, this one? Plus three. Uh, oh, plus, oh, it's because I was still cooking it, that's why. There we go, not to panic. Um, so, range, plus three, gonna need some glass. Uh, thank you. Actually, I need panes, don't I? Well, this is a lot more complicated than I thought it would be. There we go. Not to worry, it is done. One, two, they don't stack, okay. Right, let's go put this in then. Is it getting to night time again? Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Okie dokie. Where were we? We need to... I need to run power over here. I have an idea for that. If we have time, I might do something fancy for that. So if you put this in here now, and then we show the working area. Boom. Look at that. Perfect. Fits in there perfectly now. Cool. And we want to basically replicate that down here with our crushy dude. Oops, bouncy shoes. So this is the fence, so it goes right here. Mob crusher with the upgrade. Now we want to make sure that this isn't going to crush the guys from upstairs. So it goes and it finishes directly there, so it shouldn't do, hopefully. Let's really hope so, because that would be bad. Um, I'm going to run the conduits out the back here, so that'll take stuff straight out. Whoops. I think if we shift click, no. We'll just right click. There we go. So extract will make that always active. So we're going to take all the items out here and I would like them to go underground into my drawers. So I'm going to get drawer controller right there. Then my two drawers go here and here. Uh, actually Maybe you're not going to go there. You'll go underneath. Okay. So you... Oh. Hold your horses for one second. Can I... No. Nope. I got it, don't worry. Boom. Then this guy will be inserting but not extracting. Then we want to... We can cover that up later on. So now these guys, I'm not going to lock them yet because we need to make sure they're holding everything that we want them to hold. But we can then fill that in 
And apart from getting power into this dude, which will come up here if we wire it, that should be good. So now if I breed these guys with some wheat over here. Okay, they're going to breed. And the baby is going to fall. <laughs> which <laughs> isn't very good. It doesn't sound a bit harsh, but now the baby is in here. There he is. It'll grow up. And then this will kill it. It's a bit, it's a bit rude, a bit, a bit cruel, but that is how we get our mob drops from now on. Um, the other thing I wanted to do was we're gonna at some point we're gonna hook that up down there so we can have it access to it. That's what an external storage bus is for. But I don't have any of the stuff to make this yet. Um, but that will be fine once we do that. Oh, we need to do the upgrades. Okay. Boom, boom. Then, I want to put this dude, whoa, I want to put this dude on active, uh, on redstone signal, and I'm going to get the redstone receiver, plonk it down, whack it with this dude, so they're linked, and then I can go back to my base, and I can now turn the breeder on which will start then breeding the animals and getting mob drops whenever I want to. So I'm just going to plonk this like here. Um, probably want it... Uh, yeah, I think I want to rotate it a bit. There we go. Then I just need a lever. Uh, I'm going to have to make a lever. That's fine. Boom. Okay. Now we simply stick this dude here. And ooh, and when on, we'll actually start breeding the animals. Cool. Right, let's come back in a second then. Okay, so the last piece of this puzzle is the chest. So we want an iron chest, which means we can just do that. We don't need a copper one. Oh, we need a normal chest first. I don't want to make iron plates, unfortunately. I am not making iron plates. Uh, sure. So iron uses wood or copper, if you want, and gold chest. So what this is for, you sh we shall see, I shall show you in a minute. Um, so we're going to end up, we might end up with drops that don't fit in these chests. I don't know if it's possible, um, but in case it is, we want somewhere for them to go, and they're going to go into here. Okay. Um, now I believe we can make it a lower priority, I think, if I figure out how to do that. I have to go down a bit. So it's going to be oh, insert, but a low priority. Minus two. So it should insert into the drawers first now, hopefully. Okay. The last thing I need is to go out into the world on my own. I'll be back once I find some chickens, eventually. It says there's a cow here. Interesting. Right, I'm going to go find some chickens and get some eggs, and also I'll collect the chickens as well, because we need them for the farm. And then we'll be back. Okay, so, I managed to find some chickens. Plonk. There's one, and there's the other one. We've got a little golden dude. And uh, now, we can go and use the eggs that I got as well. I'll do the pigs and the cows off camera. But now we can make the adult filter. As well. So, adult filter, yes please, boom. I did, do have another egg, which means if I make a couple more of these, make a couple more of these, then a couple more of these, uh, please, sure that'll do, I can make another set of that, cool. Let's put some stuff away that I don't need. Shouldn't need any more fences now. Got quite a lot of dirt. Cool. Gonna need some more other stuff at some point. I'm gonna dig that hole off camera to run the power in a second. And then this is basically a completed build, apart from just throwing a few more animals in here. Um, let's put the wheat in here. Now the wheat's only gonna breed the sheep. We need seeds for the uh, chickens and we need uh, carrots for the other dudes. But we put that in there. And now we can run power over safely without killing the baby. So I'm going to go off camera, big, big, dig a big tunnel, 
and then uh, wire it all up. Okay, um, I'm back. I've done a really long cable. As we can see, this guy now has power. It goes whoosh all the way down here, through this little hole, and into the back here. So we can now block this off. That is that done. And then I will hop back up here, fill in this. There we go. And then we want to also power this dude, which is uh, oh, that's the receiver. It's this dude here. Um, I don't really want to do it. Well, okay, let's do it like like so for now. Uh, that should be fine. So we don't technically need that bit under there, but that's okay. So now this guy up here. Oh, it's night time. I'm going to run back to my base and sleep. This guy up here is now powered. Hasn't bred the sheep yet. Because uh, it's not got a redstone signal. I might have turned it off. Well, let's sleep through the night and then we'll turn that on and see if it starts breeding the sheep. Yeah, we'll need to put some seeds in there as well for the old chickens. But I think that is basically a done deal. So... Is that, so when the lever's on, the breeder's on. Let's get some seeds. Seeds. Yeah, just all of them. I think I've got wheat growing in my farm, which I'll have to automate at some point. Yeah, there's loads of wheat in here. So I have to automate way that at some point. There's a friend, or a not-so-friendly friend, following me. Did they breed? Yes, look, there's another babby there. And look, another egg. Now, I could get, I'll get a few more sheep and stuff off camera, I reckon. Um, we put the season here, and the chickens should also breed. There they go. So there's a babby chicken. I want to put some more mob f uh, filter dudes in here. I can make another set now, actually. I need to make sure now the adults go down here. Cool. So. I don't think anything's been ground up yet. Not yet, because they haven't grown. They're going to take a little while. We can actually make a block to speed that up. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, we can actually make a block to speed up the growth of the animals, if we so desire. Or, I can feed them by hand a bit, which should speed it up, just to demonstrate. Oh, there you go. Hello. Uh, let's do this guy. So, as you can see, it goes down a bit. And that's still got another minute left. Let's come back once he's grown up. Okay, so I did have a bit of an incident. They managed to escape. So I'm going to get them back in here now. And, as you can see, once they're in the range, they do unfortunately perish. Um, I'm not going to be able to feed you from there. So, as you can see, we now got in this drawer wool and mutton. Which is good. That's cool. Nothing went into here. Which is good to see. Um, I don't know how much stuff I expect to get in there. So I don't know if they do drop anything else. They might not. Um, so there we go. And this has also got a bit of fluid essence as well. Um, I can't tick on the uses for that, but it's fluid oh, essence. Where is it? Uh, essence of knowledge, no. Essence? Essence? Maybe. Pretty sure we can use this for something. I thought we could use this for cryophilium stuff, but I'm not entirely sure now. This stuff. This stuff, even. Maybe? No? I thought you could get... Essence. Yes. So we should be able to use the essence in here to make that stuff at some point. Anyway, that I think is the end of this episode. I'm going to get some cows off camera and um, then we should probably make a machine to make these guys grow a bit faster at some point. But that's fine. So yeah, I think that's a pretty decent mob farm. We can put... Um, we are getting a few random drops of like feathers and things. That's okay. We've got another egg. We'll probably want something to collect the eggs. We could just set up a little vacuum hopper at some point, a vacuum chest. But that's all easy, easily done anyway. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. I'm going to get some cows and pigs off camera. But for now, thank you everyone for watching, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.